folks in our community have suffered enough financial abuse between the price of gasoline, the price of food, the price of insurance on their homes, the whole nine yards. City officials in Palm Coast are objecting to a proposed increase in utility rates. Daryl Moody reports. As a result of a recent study, a consultant has proposed raising rates by about 20% over the next three years while raising utility impact fees as well. Mayor David Alphen questioned some of the assumptions made by the Jacksonville consultant hired to conduct the study. He also made a comment and talked about renewal capital dollars versus operating dollars. I'm not sure that I understand that there isn't some overlap there between the two, and I would need to be convinced with more information that we aren't counting those same dollars more than once. The consultant asserts the city needs to make up a $225 million shortfall during that time. Vice Mayor Ed Danko blaming the dire projections on the current administration, adding that he wants to stand pat on utility rates for now. I would like to see us just tighten our belts for one year until the political landscape changes and we have a much better economy to deal with because this is horrible what everything costs. A lot of it's related to fuel, obviously, because stuff has to go from one coast to another coast. And to me, it's put us in a bad situation. The city of Palm Coast planning more than $600 million worth of utility infrastructure repairs and construction projects in the coming years, while operating expenses are projected to rise from 40 to $70 million between 2025 and 2033. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Thursday, February 15th. Operation Heartbreaker in Flagler County has gotten a lot of drug dealers off the streets. A nearly year-long county-wide undercover operation targeting drug dealers in Flagler County by the Flagler County Sheriff's Office has netted dozens of drug dealers ages 19 to 63 years old with deadly narcotics. Operation Heartbreaker has been our commitment to take out 48 drug dealers in Flagler County who now face a combined 80 separate drug charges. Among the controlled substances in Operation Heartbreaker were fentanyl, cocaine, methamphetamine, oxycodone, small amount of cannabis, and various other controlled substances. During this operation, we seized narcotics with a street value of more than $746,000. The amount of fentanyl seized was enough to kill, potentially kill, 71,000 people. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley commends community members for saying they don't want this poison in their neighborhoods. Sadly, these drug dealers are not strangers to law enforcement. Only one of these poison peddlers had never been arrested before. He has now. Congratulations on making bad decisions that got you arrested. The other individuals have faced a total of 177 prior felony arrests and 157 misdemeanor arrests. They've had their chance to turn their life around. It's now time for the criminal justice system to take swift action and firm action. Sheriff Staley adds, we investigate every tip and now you see the results of your tips from Operation Heartbreaker. We will never know how many overdoses or deaths we prevented with this undercover operation. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. How has a hospital changed a leader's life? Ed Ubel, the president of Baptist Health, says in a big way. The change here is is the newness. It is a a state-of-the-art hospital. It is expanding into a new community, learning that community, developing those relationships, and, and taking what we've done best, and that is delivering safety, grade A, quality health care. Ubel said his team has the experience to make that health care happen. The business report is on WNZF on Saturday mornings at 10, and it's on the Flagler radio app. Tomorrow, Ed Ubel's story of why Baptist Health and the other hospitals he's headed are five-star. From the WNZF newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.